Apple has just released iOS 16.5. Here is everything new in Apple's latest update for iPhone and iPad. Body, welcome to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here, and as I mentioned, Apple has fully released iOS 16.5. You can download it right now on your device after a long, lengthy beta process. The beta process even included two RC candidates, uh, one earlier this week, and of course now we have the full release, uh, and the previous RC was last week, about a week or so, before the full release. Uh, there's a couple changes in here, but nothing super gigantic that people are going to get excited about, but two that I think are worth mentioning that are definitely substantial improvements over previous versions. Our first change is here for the lock screen. When I go to add a new face to my iPhone here, a new home screen or lock screen, there's a new pride section dedicated here, and there's this really cool looking pride face, home screen, lock screen, whatever you wanna call it, but it looks very neat. Some really cool color in here. Of course, you still have the other ones like the bands that we had before, that part has not changed, but a new dedicated section and a new face. And of course, there is actually an Apple Watch face to go along with this. The other big change is in the news app. Apple has added a dedicated My Sports section to the news app. This breaks down all of your information for the different teams that you follow. You can see their scores and schedules, the teams that you're following, all from that My Sports tab. And in your main tab, there's actually this little breakout that you'll see at times which has sports course that'll jump you directly into the tab and allow you to follow along with the game. Apple's added other changes here too, especially bug fixes. Things for podcasts where Spotlight would become unresponsive and when CarPlay was having issues with the podcast app. But besides all that, Apple looks like it removed a feature that we saw early on in the beta process. And that was able to use Siri to record your screen. You used to be able to, early in the beta process, open up Siri, start a screen recording, ask Siri to do that, but now Siri says they can't help you with that, which is really unfortunate because that was a really cool, useful feature. But I guess we're not going to see it here with the release of 16.5. We're also seeing alongside of iOS 16.5, we have iPadOS 16.5, there's tvOS 16.5, there's updates for HomePod, which even brings a new version of Thread that should make smart homes better for Matter homes where uh, Google Smart Hubs and other Matter Hubs can all coexist on the same thread networks, uh, and a few other changes and bug improvements across Apple's various ecosystems. Let me know what you guys think, and if you spotted any other changes in Apple's upcoming or now released updates down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Otherwise, stay tuned to Apple Insider. We're about to get into WWDC. We're going to have 16.6 .6 dropping before WWDC, and then we're going to have a bunch of new software updates that I'm going to be very excited to get into with all of you uh, following that at the beginning of June. So stay tuned. Got a lot more to share, and I'll catch you guys next time.